Hi, Tuthalion here, your YouTube psychic, and today's video is geared towards um, clients or people who are going to see a uh, tarot reader, a palm reader, uh, an astrologer, you know, anyone that you go see that divines, and by divines means looks into the future, the past, whatever. So, questions. When you go to a reader, um, have several questions in mind because you get, as a reader, you get to the point where you get the same question over and over and over again. Now, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. Sometimes the cards can throw you for a loop, but it gets really boring really fast like the most common question you get and you'll find this out on Friday is is my boyfriend slash husband slash partner slash girlfriend cheating um, the other one is does my ex miss me no, girl, you just broke up with him. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so go with several questions. Um, the way that I would pick out a question, you don't want to be too general. So, you know, when am I meeting my next um, boyfriend? Okay, narrow it down a little bit. Because you can meet a lot of boyfriends before you meet your soulmate or someone that you click with very well. So, um, pretty much, you know, am I going to meet my soulmate soon? That sounds good. Now, the one problem is, is that whenever I choose a reading, it, you know, whenever I choose a spread for a reading, I should say, I base it on the question I'm given. So if you ask me, is my boy, am I going to meet my soulmate soon? I'm going to select a yes or no spread, which a yes or no spread is five cards, whatever's uh, upright is yes, whatever is reversed is a no. Give me just a moment and I'll show you. Okay, so this is a silk bag. I bought a pair of really fancy underwear back in the day. I can't remember what they were because I cut the tag off. Um, but they were silk and they came in this bag. Why, I don't know. But I took my cards out of the box and put them in this bag to help keep them. And this is, of course, the book that comes with it. Now, you ask me, is am I going to meet my soulmate soon? I'm going to shuffle the cards. I'm going to do the whole nine yards. I'm going to concentrate. Since I do not do readings face-to-face -face before COVID, um, <laughs> I've always done them... Well, I, Back in the day, I did them face to face, but uh, nowadays, you know, even before COVID, I decided I was going to turn my YouTube channel into uh, tarot readings and such. But anyway, um, I'm going to shuffle them, I'm going to cut them, I'm going to read it, and the answer to your question we do five cards. Okay, there's our five cards. And, of course, each card stands for a different thing. So this is you and your current situation. This is the action you should be taking. This is the obstacle you're going to be facing. This is the outcome. And this is the effect. So, is this person going to meet their soulmate soon? Yes. Now, I didn't do a shuffle. I wasn't concentrating on a person. I'm not going to go through and break down each and every card, even though you see death here. And um, one other thing in my readings, this card always shows up. I don't know why. That's why I picked it out when I did my last video. But <laughs> um, 
that's why I know that one by heart. Um, but, um, you know, this is just a sample reading. So, you know, no, four yeses, yes, they are going to meet their soulmate soon. Um, but, you know, all of this will, you know, filter into something, even death. But that's a yes or no spread. And if you ask me a yes or no question, that's the spread you're going to get. Now, say you are going to ask me something, um, my health has been bad, is there, you know, something going on that I should know, or, you know, something like that. Now, what you, what you would do, of course, shuffle all this and that, and then you would lay out a Celtic cross spread, and then you would read that. So, you know, in most cases, a tarot reader is going to act like they're enjoying your reading. <laughs> um, in some cases, you know, when you get down to your 150th or 160th yes or no question, you know, you're going to act like it, but you're not going to be very convincing. So, when you ask your question, make sure it's specific enough so like am I gonna meet my uh, soulmate soon not will I because I can tell you right now you will eventually meet a soulmate um, <laughs> you know without even reading the cards so basically you know make sure that your question is a little specific uh, yet not is Tom going to ask me out for a date? Because you might get an answer you don't want. No, he's not going to. Uh, type thing. So, make sure it's a little specific, not too specific. And make sure it is uh, not too broad. Uh, will I ever meet my soulmate? Yes, eventually. Do I know when? No, that's not the question you asked. Um, <laughs> because I've gotten a few complaints uh, from um, clients who said that, um, you know, well, not really complaints. She asked me, one of them asked me, said, um, you didn't say whether or not we were getting back together. I was like, um, well, girl, that's not the question you asked me. <laughs> um, so, what you want to do is make sure, especially if it's a paid reading, that you have the exact question you want answered, you're specific enough, and you're not too damn vague. Um, like, um, too vague is, um, will I meet my soulmates? Will I meet my soulmates? Yeah, I can tell you now, eventually. Um, what else is there? Uh, make sure that your um, question, I hate stalkerish questions. Like if you ask me if Tom is going out with, you know, if Tom is screwing around behind your back with Judy, Girl, you need to hire a private detective and have him followed. Because <laughs> that's none of my business. Um, so, is my boyfriend cheating on me? I will read on that. Is he cheating on me with Tom? Or with Tom? No, I'm not reading that. Um, because, you know, it could be a Tom. It may not be the Tom you're thinking of. But... <laughs> <laughs> but it could be a Tom. Um, so, make sure, because as a reader, I know I myself uh, want to make sure that I keep karmic balance. Now, karmic balance is, you know, the witch's rule of three. What you send out comes back threefold. So, I try not to read anyone that is not the main focus. So, say you order a reading for your friend Carol and Carol wants to know if her husband's cheating on her. Girl, have Carol order that reading. 
okay? Because it's none of your business if Carol's husband is cheating on her. That's her business. <laughs> All right. Well, um, today was a bit more like a, a, a bitch fest than anything else. Um, just make sure when you when you go, uh, when you say you order a reading from my website, tarotbytarothalian.tk, which went live a couple of days ago. Say you order a reading from there. And you send me a question that is too vague or worded wrong. I will message you back and I will say, hey, let's work on this question a little bit. Um, because, you know, in some cases, some people, like, um, I'm not going to say who, but I have gotten some random weird-ass questions about, you know, child protective services and fat fingering. You know, there's just, like, gibberish questions. And I'm like, what? Um, I need a tarot reader to find out what this says. But <laughs> anyway, feel free to like this video. Comment down below. If you were to order a reading from tarotbytarothalian.tk, what would your question be? Don't forget to like my video and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching today and have a wonderful day.